sweet. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Salton Sanctuary. Uh, I, I've been enjoying this game quite a bit. Uh, for those of you who don't know what this game is, it's a uh, it's a 2D Souls-like game, and you'll see the it's just heavily influenced by Dark Souls. I love it. I've been playing quite a bit of it. So let's jump right into it. What name should I pick? Do something. Else. Let's just let's just call him Super Jake. Super Jake, go for it. I'm gonna change my origin because I saw this and I wanted to use it because it looks pretty cool. He looks like a demon, or maybe a like a bat person. I don't know. I don't know what you call that, but it looks good, and I like it. Try to put a beard on this guy. No, no. I want to see the fangs. You can put a beard on him, it covers up the fangs. Definitely mohawk, definitely red mohawk. We'll do that. <laughs> there we go. I'm going to keep it a night uh, because I was looking at somebody, other, somebody else that was playing and they did a, a pretty cool sword and magic build that I want to do. Uh, and I'm gonna I'm gonna do that because it looked pretty cool. I was playing a hunter before, but uh, let's do knight. I don't actually know. Cell uh, sword. Let's pick up this thing. I don't actually know what that does, and I heard something about it, so we're just gonna go with that. Let's go for it. Captain. Stranger, I'm, the, I'm on the ship. Shit, come on, there we go. So I'm here to rescue the princess from these, these people. You got me. Oh, you got me. Come on, come on, come on. Shut up. Yeah, there we go. <sighs> that move does not work. The roll and stab does not work. Look at all the blood, too. It's everywhere. I've been playing a bit of it, and I've beaten some of the bosses, but I haven't beaten it yet, so there'll still be some surprises for me along the way. But this isn't a surprise. Okay, yep. <laughs> I didn't expect to beat him, but uh, there you go. He was a very Cthulhu looking guy. There's a lot of lore, uh, but you have to read it in the uh, the skills and some of the items, just like uh, Dark Souls. The only exposition you get is within those first few minutes. Oh, I got fat rolls. I don't like fat rolls. I'm gonna switch it out for something. Or just remove these. Should I wear... Should I remove this? Go shirtless. I don't like having slow rolls. You're just a fleshy bit of flotsam washed ashore with the rest of us, hmm? You're one shelter. You're one sanctuary, but what is sanctuary without faith? There's an empty sanctuary up the beach. You can claim it for your creed. Do you keep with the new gods? I, I do, I guess. <laughs> Most men follow the three deities, the king, the knight, and the judge. The king leads wisdom to men 
<laughs> the king lends wisdom to those who lead. The king protects warriors in combat, and the judge guides those who maintain order. Are you a follower of the three then? Sure, let's be a follower of the three. Here is a candelabra of the three, icon of your creed. Now these are all tutorial stuff. Sanctuary key. It's very convenient that we put it right outside the sanctuary. I don't know why I picked those up. I already know the controls. <laughs> I don't know which one's which. This guy looks like the king. This one's probably the judge, and this one's probably the knight. I don't actually know. I have to read up on the lore. And for the sake of you and my sanity, I'm going to be doing the uh, uh, the grinding off screen <laughs> because there's a bit of it that you have to do. So I'll do the bosses and I'll do the first exploration of places. Oh, those echoes. A red shard and a pouch of salt. That's the uh, the souls replacer for this game. It's salt. Gonna be the saltiest bastard around. Oh, I didn't know I didn't see you there. Ready, block. There we go. Block. Oh. Look! Get out of here. More salt! More salt for the salt god! Get back here, crow. Crow! I missed. Get back here. Arrows? Bolts? He almost got me. Fuck! There we go. I got this. Okay, I think the first the first boss is way up here. He's at the very top of this tower. There's a wolf. Oh shit, he got me. He got me right out of that attack. <laughs> that was a bunch of crap. Get out of here. Don't want those skull bats, whatever they're called. Skull wings. You can look at him in here. Feral beast. Dog-like. So maybe it's a dog, I don't know. It might be a werewolf, who knows. Skull pet, that's what it's called. All these little items, these ones here, and like obelisk and stuff, come to play like much later on. So you'll, you'll always be backtracking to do and reach certain places that you hadn't before. Which is nice because it takes you back to old area. Well, backtracking is a nice. I wouldn't say as a whole backtracking is a good thing. They are dodgy motherfuckers, aren't they? Get the hell out of here. Not a stanima. Block. Rogue stuff. That's what I need. I need to switch over to rogue stuff until I can actually use my heavy armor without fat rolling. So let's use the rogue stuff. Rogue, rogue, we're roguing it. Will I fat roll? It's not bad. 
I can handle that. This obelisk here is one of those things you have to come back to as well. But we'll get to that one when it- oh shit, I did not- why am I so- <laughs> come on, get over here. Popping up from the ground. Walkers. This isn't Walking Dead. Oh! I need to get on my game. They keep hitting me. I don't like it. We find our first. This isn't a full sanctuary, but this is the save point here. You can't actually, um, well you'll find out you can't actually bring followers into these save points, but these ones are mostly for bosses and like in between places. I'll show you the, the followers and the, the leaders, the, the people you can bring in a bit later. <laughs> 